president of NFNS and I am also part of the Gorkhaland movement. I represent the Gorkhaland movement here. I am Dr. Munish Tama and these are my colleagues here. Thank you all of you for coming here to be part of this uh, sit-in demonstration. We plan to have a two-day sit-in demonstration today and tomorrow. And uh, this is a sit-in demonstration in which we sit here. We will uh, raise our slogans, we'll, we will put up our banners. We will also discuss our future course of action. And at the end of our demonstration tomorrow, we will be submitting our joint memorandum to the Honorable Home Minister. So today we will also deliberate on the memorandum, the contents of the, of the memorandum. Some more friends are joining us. Some will be joining in the evening. Some will be arriving in the evening. So they will join us tomorrow. We will have friends from Tarbi Anglong area, Jakas, area, Jakas Joint Action uh, Coordination, uh, Joint Action Committee for Autonomous State, Jakas. They will be coming here tomorrow. Similarly, we have more friends from IPFT. They are currently traveling. They are traveling here by train. They will be arriving, uh, arriving by evening. Tomorrow we will have more local friends also, friends from Delhi, more friends from uh, Gorkhaland area. So we might have a slightly bigger gathering tomorrow and uh, take the next 20 minutes here. Police opportunity. Thank you once again, the chairperson and the president of NFNS, uh, Dr. Munis Tamangji. The President of HSPDV and all the leaders from HSPDV, the leaders from uh, uh, Tripura land, the uh, leaders from Kuki land, the uh, leaders uh, from Midarba and uh, Kutka land, all my dear fellow friends and the dignitaries in the dais. I just begin with my with our uh, history of the demand of the separate state. Uh, we the Garus are the indigenous tribe inhabiting in parts of India in the state of Meghalaya and adjoining parts of Assam, West Bengal, Nagaland, Tripura and even in Bangladesh since the prehistoric times. Garus are peace loving people and believe in dialogue and negotiation to address any issue. We are proud to inform that we the Garos have matrilineal system of society which is in sync in empowerment of women. Garos have distinct culture, tradition, heritage and languages. But in lately it is very sad and unfortunate to inform you that in all the glorious Arch tradition is in trade owing to various regions which the legal framework of our constitution has failed to preserve. The demand for separate government state went back to pre-independence time, started in 1889 by our great leader, the late Sonaram Al Sama, who was uh, from Bangrapur, now it is in Assam. So, uh, seeing the vulnerability and infliction by the outsiders, especially by the Jamindus, uh, continuing the clamor and struggle over the cause, we the Garoland State Movement Committee and Garo National Council and other Garo Citizens Forum under various names have been continuously demanding for our new states. The redemarcation of present Garo history on the linguistic basis had been spearheaded by the Garo National Conference, GNC, on 22nd June 1947. Garo Students Union, GSU, had submitted memorandum demanding separate state to Honorable Prime Minister of India in the year 1996. Ajit National Volunteers Council submitted memorandum for separate Garoland State in 2006. Recently, political parties of Meghalaya submitted uh, representing Kasi Jaintia on one hand and Garo people on the other side. Hillstead People's Democratic Party, HSPDP, and Garo National Council 
simultaneously jointly submitted memorandum for creation of separate government state and Kashi Jainti state on 28th August 2011. The Royal Autonomous City Council had first resolution for creation of separate state for Garos. But till this day, the government of the day had not responded to the outcry of the Garo people in any manner. We would like to put forth and make government acquaintance with our sufferings which the Garo people are bearing the brunt of government's indifferent attitude towards our demand. In 1972, when the Gamegala state came into existence, she has been inhabited by three tribes, namely Garo, Kasi and Jaintia. Though the Kasi, Garo, Kasi and Jaintia had been living maturely and peacefully, all three have different languages, cultures, custom, tradition, belief, local governance, and even the land-holding system. Contrastingly, the three types are totally different from each other, which make the ground of the state and its people all together. Besides this distant geographical setting of state capital Shiloh and medium of communication, interior Garohills have not till now been able to come out of lake of economics, education, development, etc. and dark backwardness. Whereas other part of the India is under the revolution of information, communication and technology in every household. We in Agara have distinct languages and culture which is under threat from expanding of outsiders. Knowing this freehand, our great constitutional framers have framed safeguard for tribes like Garos in six schedule. But this legal safeguard is not sufficient to protect and promote Garos rights. We also like to draw our strong attention to Article 3 of the Constitution, which is the basis for the formation of new states. State Reorganization Act 1956 made creation of the new states on the basis of distinct language and culture. So we demand in the same line. Constitution has given the fundamental rights under Article 29. One, those having a distinct language, culture, scope have right to preserve the same. We demand for guarantee rights has enshrined in the Constitution. Constitution do not lay down any criteria for creation of new states. But we, Garos, with, with such of embedding facts and figures, and lastly demand for a separate Garolan state we, with fulfilled credentiality. Demand by number one, demand by the people. Garo people collectively in one voice demand strongly for separate Garolan state. Number two, Demand by the legislators, various political parties have submitted to the government of state and uh, center. Number the joint demand, bilaterally, Garo and the Kasi Zaintia demand for separate state of their own, but not unilaterally. Constitution allows permission of new state for Garo's economy. Garo is a various resources for its growth and development. If utilized, International truck is imminent with Southeast Asia through Bangladesh. Numerous scope for tourism industry is lying on top. Human capital resources growing. Law and order. Few years back, the law and order in the state is very poor. Militants in Garoels is due to lack of economic development, job opportunities, industrialization educational facilities, and so on. With this lack of development and step under treatment by the government, indigenous Garos do not yet deserve equal opportunities in all sectors. With creation of new state, separate state, law and order will improve and governance will come close to all. Statehood, provided the state is considered to us, we are competent to run without the burdening of government of India. Because the Garo is bestowed with numerous natural and mineral resources. In addition to this, to attract domestic and foreign tourists and scholars, we are also proud of having two national parks, namely Balbakram National Parks and Nokrek National Parks in Garo. In conclusion, we place this demand before the state 
and the central government in a competent heart and faith on the leaders of India who will delegate to us to form a separate state for Garo Hills and Kasi Zaitia in the earliest possible opportunity. Thank you all. We'll raise one slogan uh, in support of Garo Land State. We demand Garo Land. We demand Garo Land. We want Garo Land. We want Garo Land. We want Garo Land. We want Garo Yeah.